Welcome to Daily Success, where each day we discuss ideas, insights, and strategies to help you become a better version of yourself and to not only survive, but thrive in the modern world. Here's your success guide, Parth Sahani. Hi, everyone. On Thursdays, we read a meditation from the book, The Daily Apple, 366 Meditations on Growth, Persistence, and the Art of Exceptional Living, written by yours truly. Here is today's entry from the book. May 16th. Be content with being clueless. The world has become small, thanks to the internet and other technological advances. It's as easy to connect with your cousin who lives thousands of miles away from you as your neighbor who lives right across from you. It's as easy to know what events are going on all around the world and follow them as knowing and attending events in your neighborhood. In these days of 365 24-7 media and remaining plugged into it, the downside is that we put ourselves under the constant pressure of knowing everything. A majority of people in our society believe it's their obligation to know about every single current event that's happening, locally and globally. To follow CNN, or you can call it constant negative news, or any other news channels religiously, and to get familiarized with everything about a new critically acclaimed TV show or web series. We think it's our duty and responsibility to constantly show up in the world as a well-informed and knowledgeable individual. But who has entrusted this duty to us? What's the main reason we want to know every single thing or watch every single noteworthy show or movie? The law doesn't enforce this, neither does the police. Then why this constant chase behind what's new, hot and trending? Is it the fear of looking silly, stupid and distant when others discuss the recent episode of a trending TV show or the recent breakup of that famous celebrity? It's okay to stay informed about the local events and important matters that may affect us or our family. But we don't have to run after every piece of breaking news in the digital realm. No matter how much we dread the three words, we can muster the courage and just say, I don't know. Or you may replace them with, I don't care. Or, it's not my problem or concern. There's no need to go with the flow of the society. Own yourself and your life. It's absolutely fine to take the Sherlock Holmes approach and protect your brain attic from unnecessary clutter because in the end, you're managing and directing your life, not others. I hope you enjoyed today's insight. You can get a copy of The Daily Apple at your favorite store. Just go to bookstory.com forward slash daily dash apple. Again, it's books number two read.com forward slash daily dash apple. I'll also add this link in the show notes. That wraps up this episode. Have a tremendous Thursday and I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, relax, stay calm and keep moving forward. Bye. We hope today's episode added incredible value to you. For more helpful resources on personal development, philosophy and holistic success, come visit parthsahani.com. Have an amazing day.